Hey there, Lucas Brunel here, and um, got tired of waiting for the gimbal for my 3DR solo. And so, um, before I tell you about this, what I want to do is uh, give a shout out to a couple of people. Craig Cohen at uh, B&H Photo Video, he's awesome. Um, even Best Buy refers people to him for tech support. Anyways, um, he uh, kind of helped me along with this and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, I'm a little new at drones, so um, that's a big help. And um, so in addition to Craig at B&H Photo Video, um, there's a guy, Dennis, at Rage Cams. Um, so I don't like the look of GoPro because I don't like the way that they bend all their stuff. So he did this uh, rectilinear lens. This is a lens that basically flattens everything and it makes it look like a normal camera. Anyway, let's get on to the gimbal. Um, what I'm going to tell you about this is this is kind of a sketchy way to do it. And if you fuck this up, I take no responsibility. So you, not you, but in the camera there watching this, be careful when you're doing this if you're going to try this. And like I said, I'm not responsible. Anyway, here we go. So what I did to get a gimbal for my solo was I took um, some, I took some shit from Lowe's. I don't know what they even use this for, but it's foam. And I cut it up into little squares. And so what I did with these squares was I put them under the thing. And so under the craft so that I could space it. And then I took a gimbal. This is a Feiyu 3G handheld gimbal is what it's supposed to be. Um, and I'll turn it on. And so, okay, now it's on. So basically what it's doing is it's providing perfect shot. I mean, you can yaw, you can do um, pitch, you can, you know, turn, you can do all kinds of stuff. You can cable cam, go on the side, you know, it's, it's all really good, very stable. And so, as you can see, it works really well. And yes, if you want to, you can actually put this at a 90 degree angle down if you want to shoot aerial. So anyways, um, handheld gimbal, GoPro, of course, and straps. Uh, these are actually straps from a uh, bicycle. These are toe straps. One on this side and one on this side. Um, you'll see that the metal is on opposing sides. I have to keep a balance. Um, and then I've got a cable. Um, this is an extension so that I can get FPV, um, so that I can actually see where I'm flying through the camera. This is an extension micro USB. Uh, the cable cost me $5. The shipping cost me $23 because I wanted to get it quickly from Hong Kong. Anyway, I'm going to Chernobyl and I need stuff in a hurry. 